It was a weekend that one Minnesota teacher will never forget. Please join me in welcoming the 2023 Minnesota Teacher of the Year, Michael Houston. <laughs> Yay. This is such a big and important honor. Houston is a teacher at Harding High School in St. Paul, and we wanted to invite him to the CCO studio to talk more about his work in the classroom. And here he is, Michael, the big star. This is your moment. You know, you spend so many days in the classroom, probably going unnoticed. You don't do it for the thank yous, I'm sure. Oh, no, I do it because it's the kids. Yeah. I love the kids. But it's nice to get a thank you and a little bit of recognition here. Every once in a while, but I'm, I'm glad that our community um, is getting recognized for this award as well, as, as, as well as the teachers in the classroom. Yeah. Do you mind going back to the beginning for us and, and tell us about what inspired you to become an educator in the first place? It was actually my college professor uh, at Concordia St. Paul, Dr. Krieger. He showed up to class every day with such enthusiast enthusiasm and vigor mm -hmm. and passion oh, that it inspired me to become a teacher just like him. Now, we were talking before the show and I said to you, we were, you know, we were talking about the fact that mental health with children is, is such a big thing. We had an interview in our first half hour about it and I said to you, those kids really need teachers like you right now. And your response was, I need them. Explain that to us. Yeah, uh, since the pandemic and given that in this past school year that Harding has faced a lot of tragedy, we had the sudden death of a colleague, we had a student take their own life and we had a fatal stabbing. Uh, it's been hard for our kids, it's been hard for our uh, staff as well. So we really leaned on each other, the staff and students. So not only do the students learn from me, but I'm also learning how to get through this from them as well. Mm -hmm. How do you uh, persevere through stuff like that and keep your students um, present with what's happening, you know, in the school or with their classmates, but also you know, achieving and striving to improve those grades? Yeah, just being honest with them and being vulnerable. I think they appreciate realness, they can sense mm -hmm. uh, teachers being fake and, 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 and things like that. So no, I think just being honest with them and being open, they, they sense that, you know, from the staff, they truly get the love from us and, and they appreciate that. And no, it, again, like we, we are learning from them just as much as they're learning from us. And you've also had experience at your school at Harding as, as a coach for many years as well. Do you feel like you meld those two things inside the classroom where sometimes I'm a teacher, sometimes I'm a coach, and that all kind of comes together? Yeah, I'm the biggest cheerleader for my students in the classroom. I want them to succeed, obviously, on the field when I coached in, in the classroom. So, no, I, I'm the biggest cheerleader, and I show that by giving them all the affection that they need. Yeah. What have your students said to you? I mean, what has their reaction been to this award? <laughs> Just, oh my God, you, you so deserve it. Uh, you're an awesome teacher and I um, appreciate you as role model, mentor, coach, advisor. So. Yeah, can we, uh, I have your resume here. I want to <laughs> break okay. it out. I'm not trying to embarrass you, but Derek mentioned like a football coach, you're the math department chair. Um, you're also an adjunct professor at Concordia teaching math to perspective teachers and so yeah. you're kind of passing along what your professor passed to you to try to um, inspire more people to do what you do. Yeah, at least try to. Mm -hmm. No, I'm glad to have that influence uh, to so many young young adults in my life. What keeps you motivated? I mean, you're a busy guy. I am. <laughs> uh, the kids, uh, they come in with enthusiasm um, and I try to show that same enthusiasm to um, it, it is contagious. It's contagious on both sides. What's your message to other teachers that may be feeling a little burned out right now or someone who is thinking about getting into the profession about the wards being you know, greater than some of the challenges mm -hmm. that there are? Yeah, there's challenges with any profession, but with teaching, we're just so lucky to be much more than educators. We just have so many roles. We wear so many hats. And so that there, just knowing that you can change a student's life is rewarding in itself. And this is your life's work. You, you said there's nothing that else you'd rather be doing. There's nothing else I would rather do than spend time with, with the students. What do your students know you for? Do you have any like gimmicks? You know, like I feel like in the era of TikTok, there's all these teachers that have their own kind of methodology. Do you do anything? No, like I, that? I typically or are you tease classic? my I typically tease my kids for being on TikTok um, <laughs> and doing all the, the trends You're not and on dances. And that. I am not on, I am no. not on TikTok. <laughs> Uh, but usually I make faces, I, I emote, and so they kind of make faces or laugh at the faces that I make in class. Oh my gosh, well such a fantastic honor and thank you. I know you're on the press tour now and we're glad mm -hmm. that you could make time to come in and speak with us. Yeah. And I know it's inspiring to your students, but also other teachers, so. Thank you, thanks yeah, for having me, friends. Thanks for yeah. doing what thank you Thank you, Michael, do. we appreciate it. And shout out to Harding, all those kids there watching right now too. <laughs>